Happy National Women's Day. We're celebrating our National Women's Day here in McLean, Virginia. We're going to start having lunch. We hope to see you soon. We have some guests here already. We have some raffle tickets. And we have some books that we're going to give away. And we have coffee, water, and our favorite drink. See you soon, guys. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for supporting National Women's Day. <laughs> we appreciate that you're here to support us. Yeti here treated you to lunch, but what you don't know is that for those of you here, you get a free lunch, you all owe her dinner for life. <laughs> <laughs> That's my motto, my team knows. Anyone, so anyone who's been introduced to this business, you owe the other person dinner for life. Because you know why? She has given you the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeti is one of my extremely successful, you know, and I'm very, very proud of her in every sense. So with that, you know, I know you're in a great hand because you know, Yeti is one of my incredible, incredible, you know, top-notch VP level in our company. She's made it. Because you know why? Because she took a chance. She made it because she believed. She made it because she said, you know what, this is, I can do this. Again, the right crowd, the right coach, the right leader, the, the right industry, and what we have in us.
I just want to say that, well, first of all, the dance <laughs> challenge, you have to teach me how to do the shoulders. Yeah. But um, Yeti is an awesome, uh, an awesome leader and very, very giving. And just as one of her colleagues in the industry, uh, she's always been available to assist me. So I can't imagine why anybody in the community uh, would not want to be a part of this movement to financially empower, as the doctor said, empower people to make better decisions with regards to leveraging their hard-earned money. So Yeti, thank you so much for inviting me today. It was an awesome event and I encourage you to get engaged, stay engaged, and you'll never regret it. Thank you, my dear. Okay. All right, so uh, I just want to uh, say thank you for what you do for the available and that phone is always there 
but remember to leave a message. Within 24 hours, I'll get back to anybody and everybody that called me. But that's yeah, yeah, me. Peace of mind, daddy. To me, I'm not in a day-to-day life action in men or a lot of other. Then, then, this industry is very valuable, I know, as well as uh, the real estate industry. So both of them really they made me who I am today in terms of my profession and how I do it. So yeah, that's what, that's what it is. Dr. Brown, do you have something to say? Yes, I have something to say. Thank you. So let me start off by thanking Yeti for getting all of us together for this uh, great occasion. Because getting to getting together with people, exchanging ideas, exchanging information is what helps us think and grow. So thank you very much for this effort. Now, this meeting is held in a, in a very significant day today. I hope you all know the meaning of Women's Day in the United States. 121 years ago was the first time that women were allowed to vote in this country. And you might be wondering that the United States is not yet up to its greatness in terms of the empowerment of women yet. We still don't have equal pay for women. That's, that's clear. We still don't have a woman president. The closest we go to was the loss last time, and now our vice president. So the, the struggle to empower women is an ongoing struggle. And it plays to all of us, because for us, for me in particular, um, I have three daughters and, uh, and a great wife that's keeping me going. And I make sure that I work for the empowerment of women, just like I do for the empowerment of my daughters and, and wives. So the empowerment of women is what keeps this society moving forward. Because women play a major and significant role in society, in families and in society. Now, women's empowerment would mean ownership of property and financial independence. And that is what is still missing in the empowerment of women. And as women of substance and human beings of substance, we should all be working to empower our women to be uh, powerful in terms of owning money, in terms of using money, and in terms of utilizing money for uh, the betterment of their families, their communities, and countries. Now, I have joined Yeti in the, in the team. Uh, I come from a medical background. I've been working medicine for a long time and I've had enough of that and I'm moving on to, to, to this. Now in the medical profession we serve people but people come to us. We don't go to people. Now I'm a totally different uh, mindset is coming now. Now I would have to go to people to serve them but I'm prepared for that. And one important thing that uh, <coughs> we need to realize is we're not going to get anyone to do this or that. We're only providing information that would empower everyone to choose. Informed choice is the greatest power that you have. Anyone that comes to, to the financial industry or the business needs to understand that there is no prescription. We will be dealing with each and everyone's problems, desires, issues, and give them the alternatives, and the choice is going to be theirs. So this is a great industry, and, and uh, thank you, Katie, for letting me into it, and we welcome everyone to join our team, and uh, empower yourselves, your families, and your community. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Brian.